Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. And I'm Brittany Zulis. Today we're going to talk about redeploying fiber assemblies. The short answer is yes. However, there are some very critical aspects that you must look at before you do this. Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure no one's been jump roping with the fiber assembly. The next is end face inspection. If you deploy fiber that is contaminated, the contamination will spread to whatever you are connecting to. This can cause some very troublesome issues. See cable talk number 23 for more detailed information on this subject. The next concern is fiber damage. It could be kinked or bent. The best way to check this is to measure the insertion loss with a power meter. Most end users do not have this capability, but it is the only way to ensure there's going to be enough signal strength for the data to be transmitted properly. Another worry could be fiber protrusion. This should not be of concern if you purchase the fiber from a manufacturer that has a good, thorough quality control process. Fiber protrudes from the end face a certain amount. It is critical that it is to a very specific measurement range and needs to be constantly monitored on the manufacturing line. If there's too much protrusion, the fibers can made up and then crack. So a known working cable has actually broken and that can lead to downtime and nobody, nobody wants, wants that. that. Consider these factors against your capabilities when you're gonna make a decision. Consider buying some new jumpers instead. With new fiber assemblies, you can ensure you get bend and sensitive fiber and higher bandwidth capabilities. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something. For more information, visit us at www.cableexpress.com today. Respect Layer 1.